What's up guys? Coming at you from Dubois, Pennsylvania today. No uh, Dubois Diner here, but we have Breaking Bread and we're here to launch a new food challenge. Big old stack of pancakes, what they call a mess, eggs, bacon, sausage, you know, all around that. I think some toast is with it too. Don't know exactly how big they're planning on making this thing, but we're gonna get inside and check this thing out. And I'll see you guys with breakfast. All right, guys, they brought these things out to us. They are huge. They look delicious. Got this mess around, this giant stack of pancakes here, 12 eggs, ham, uh, peppers and onions. Got some rye toast here. Uh, definitely a big thanks to them for having us out here to launch this massive food challenge today. Massive. Um, but this all smells delicious, so I am ready to get into this whenever you guys are. Ready. Oh, before we get started, if you guys come down, or when you guys come down, if you're anywhere near the area, get your hands on some of these pretzels. These things are ridiculous. Number yeah. one, pretzels are good. These are like seasoned and coated. It's almost like garlic powder, onion powder, something delicious. Regardless, get some of those in your stomach before you try some of their other delicious food. They were kind of enough to give us some of those too. And now, I think they were just trying to take up space in our stomachs before we started the pancake yeah. challenge. But I regardless, call that sabotage. Yeah, regardless, they are delicious. So come check those out as well as all the other good stuff. All right, so without further ado, the Breaking Bread Breakfast Challenge. And this challenge does carry, we're guessing, about a 30 minute time limit. So if you think you uh, got the uh, gastric fortitude to come down here and try this, you got 30 minutes to get it for free, otherwise you're gonna pay for it. So without further ado, three, two, one. Read breakfast. Like I said, these things are gigantic. I mean, look at the size of those things. Mm. They're like the size of my head. <laughs> they are like the size of my face. You guys need any syrup? Look at that. It's even smiling at you. I like your technique. Thank you. Even distribution. My technique is put the syrup because it's delicious. Hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. The batter's like a nice sweetness to it. It almost it tastes like a like a cake. Yeah. It's almost like a yeah, vanilla cakey texture. Mm. Mm. Those are very good. You guys both did the crisscross, I did the dump. <laughs> Hey, what's that mean? You guys need grape jelly? <laughs> Good, thank you. You don't want your mission. Comment below if you love grape jelly as much as I do. Or syrup. Syrup's delicious too. Any kind of jelly but grape jelly. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating the wrong jelly. These pancakes are thick. Mm hmm. Sweet cheese. Look at this thing. It's like a trough of butter mm. with a paintbrush. A literal paintbrush. You really feel like lobsters on this You know what I feel like? Butter. I feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> like, happy pancake. Happy, mm -hmm. happy pancake. I'm gonna try some of this mess here. Mm. We're about four and a half minutes in. This mess is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm switch over to my That's got a good flavor to it. You gonna make it better, grape jelly? <laughs> No way. <clears throat> Listen, if you don't like grape jelly, you should unsubscribe to Nick and Andy's no. channel because I don't like grape jelly. We, we, not for grape jelly, people. Nothing against grape jelly, personally. It's just, 
it's no, it's, it's Persian. Oh, grape yeah. jelly is the ugly cousin of all the other jellies. You're eating wrong jelly. <laughs> I would rather have grape jelly over mint jelly, though. That's fair. That's fair, yeah. You should rather have grape jelly over anything because it's better. Mint jelly is the cousin <laughs> of kale. Listen, when you think of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the first thing you think about is great. Let's face it. I think I'd rather have a plain peanut butter sandwich than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with grape. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have we turned this into a grape debate? <laughs> <laughs> Rye toast is probably the best toast. It is good. Yeah, kind of yeah. Uh, What is the best kind of toast? Yeah, I'll give you the answer. It's rye toast. Italian bread toast is pretty good too. Mm. Rye me? peanut butter toast. That's what it's at. Mm. You want to make it all better? Grape jelly. <laughs> I'm glad that debate's over. <laughs> So um, about 13 and a half minutes in, and I got the uh, got that monster pancakes out of the way. I got some mess to eat. I think this is gonna be a <coughs> welcome change. <laughs> yep, definitely a welcome change. That is good. I feel like I need a bigger spoon. <laughs> I was thinking that as soon as I started eating. Yeah, you need water? I do. Well, tough, because you're at that end of the table. <laughs> Fair enough, I'll we'll just have to drink the rest of this, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I'll watch. I'm finally down to one more pancake. 1920? Mm. About 2008 for Nick. Really, really good. Yeah, so good.
Part of the challenge is to eat this brick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> I caught my little brother, and when he was a little, he was probably like four. <laughs> I, well, he was in the kitchen, and I, I walked into the kitchen, he's, in the, he's got a stick of butter, he's just eating it like a candy bar. Spencer, no! <laughs> can't do that. Oh, you can. You can. I wouldn't yes, recommend don't. it. I wouldn't, yeah. They sell deep fried butter, I'm pretty sure you could just... At the fairs and yeah, stuff? Yeah. yeah deep fried good. butter. Mm -hmm. I want to try deep fried cheesecake. See that? It's fair. Delicious. I haven't tried it. Is it good? It's delicious. I bet. Like deep fried Oreos? Deep fried Oreos. Like, Oreos are great, and then you deep fry them, and some kind of magic happens. Inside of the batter, where well, they just become like, <laughs> unbelievable. Like the same thing that happens to meatloaf when you store it overnight in the fridge and you put it on a sandwich the next day, happens to deep fried Oreos when you when you deep fry them. You also know if you take a Twinkie and you deep fry it, it changes the calories from 210 to 750. <laughs> <laughs> they probably absorb a lot of oil. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it does. It has been a long time since I've had some pancakes. Mm. Now well, you're good for a while, right? Yeah, I'm gonna feel Now you'd be like, no, I don't want pancakes for another while. Huh? <laughs> That's what you're missing. Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm missing? That's All right. right. I do this Andy Poole put grape jelly on that pancake. He, he would want another stack. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Andy Poole. I've converted him. Have you ever seen some of the chain restaurants? They have pancake stacks, and they'll be called like strawberry cheesecake pancakes or whatever. Mm. But there's only goo on the top pancake. Yeah, yeah. And then you eat the top, and then, and then it's you like, go to the bottom restaurant. You're like, I can do it. Like these are regular like pancakes. Depression the rest of the way through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I would have just plopped that one to the side. And You're like, hey, yeah, I got a question. How come only the top one was strawberry cheesecake? <laughs> the rest of them are regular. Yeah. <clears throat> See that? Great. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, this is so delicious. Yeah, it tastes like grape. I know. It tastes like grape, but not grapes. Not grapes. Yeah, yeah I don't know what grape jelly is based on. <clears throat> but like certain flavors, like green apple, I don't know what that flavor is based on. It's not Granny Smith apples. You know? <coughs> no. Blue raspberry. It's not Granny Smith apples. <laughs> about 26 minutes into this challenge, Andy pulls on his last bite. Mm -hmm. Andrew, the Iceman Poulet. Oh, you gonna clean it up? Do the Randy. I'm gonna need a bath after him then. Mm. Ah. <laughs> 25 32 for Andrew Poole. There you go. It's like 19 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. There you have it. The breaking bread, crazy, insane, yet to be named pancake tower with mess challenge. All right, guys, that was the pancake challenge here at Breaking Bread in Dubois, PA. Delicious challenge, great pancakes, made with a sweeter batter, and that mess, that mess was on point too. Definitely delicious. If you're ever in the area, I recommend that you stop in and check this place out. I'm sure all of this, their food here is the same as this. But uh, make sure you check out Dan and Nick's channels. I'll put links in my description for that. You should definitely get yourself some breakfast. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Get some pretzels, dude. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah.